Hello Nidorinos and Nidorinos, it is King Nido here and today we're coming to you from Spike Myth City where the Dark Type Rockets are looking to get their season off to the shiniest of starts as they host the Anastar Galaxy who unfortunately finished last season off with a 6 game losing streak that actually kept them out of victory road so let us know in the comments below who you think is going to win this matchup, will it be the Dark Types, will it be the Psychic Types, let's send it down. Now that is right, that six game losing streak kept them out of Victory Road, however they were able to defeat the Dark Types last season as they started out with Metagross, their strongest Pokemon, and Del Fox, it will be Weaver and Samurai in its Hisuian form starting out for the Spike Myth Rockets as the sweet kiss from Del Fox is going to leave Samurai confused, it does not want to be doing any damage to itself, but Weaver looking to respond is going to go and go for the fake tears however that clear body of metagross prevents it from having its stats load which allows metagross to set up the sunny day on the field if delphox capitalizes on that and goes for any fire type moves you have to think it's going to do massive damage as samurai needs to shake off this confusion but it is unsuccessful doing damage to itself this is great for the anastar galaxy because it allows delphox now to try and go for the metal burst however that does unfortunately fail which means weevil is going to go with the burning bulwark setting that up protecting itself Nobody is going to want to do damage to it this turn, so Metagross needs to be careful as it goes for the Expanding Force, which will not work. The Spike Myth Rockets are immune to Dark-type moves, and Samurai has already snapped out of its confusion as it is going to go for the Hurricane. But Delphox is able to avoid that move. Everyone's dodging moves here as Delphox with the Bulldoze hits everybody on the field. It's actually super effective on its own teammate, but it does lower the speed here of Samurai. Lowers the speed of Weavile as well. Metagross might actually be quicker than Weavile now, and that it is. This allows it to set up for a Shadow Force, so it is going to vanish from the field instantly. The Rockets need to target Delphox right now. Weaver with the brine. This will be super effective, but unfortunately it goes for Metagross. The wrong target. Samurai, though, is going to go with the Mystical Power. This will not be very effective on the Fire Psychic type, but does do a little bit of chip damage and the special attack boost for Samurai on that base 100 attack. Now we get the Mud Slap from Del Fox which is going to lower that accuracy of Samura and the Shadow Force follow-up from Metagross also going for Samura, not very effective, gets a great hit though and Weavile looking to respond for its side, goes with the overheat this is going to be super effective on Metagross and gets the elimination Metagross is taken out of this match Weavile does lower its special attack but what a connection to take out the pseudo-legendary that is what makes the Spike Moth Rockets a champion side that Mountain Gale is avoided by Delphox from Samura and now out comes Exeggutor in its Cantonian form, and it has speed control as well, but it goes with the speed swap, giving its speed to Samurai, who has had its speed lowered, so this will affect things, but Delphox is going to go for the slash, gets that critical hit, but Samurai is able to hold on. Weaver with the court change, unfortunately that is going to fail, but I still cannot believe it was able to take out Metagross. Samurai though, with the flamethrower, this will be super effective if it goes for Exeggutor, but Exeggutor is able to avoid that move. That Accuracy being lowered of Samurai has been crucial as the sunlight fades and we get the Fury Cutter from Delphox taking Samurai out of this matchup. The Anastar Galaxy have leveled the playing field as a Thunderbolt now from Exeggutor onto Weevil. A fantastic connection. Weevil is going to respond though with the Baton Pass. It's going to give its lowered special attack to somebody else, but clearly it's had enough for the time being. It will be coming back out on the field very shortly. But right now, Incineroar comes out, making its debut for the Spike Myth Rockets with that Intimidate ability, which could be crucial lowering that physical attack of the two Psychic types. Now, it is much more of a special attack inside, but Weavile is now back out on the field, and Delphox is going to go for the Drain Punch, immediately meeting Weavile and taking it out of the match already. Delphox is having a better season than it seems to have had last time around. Let's see if we can keep up this momentum as the Anastar Galaxy have just taken the lead. And now Exeggutor follows it up with the Quiver Dance. It's going to boost its special attack, which is already base 125, as well as boosting that special defense and its speed. But the Anastar Galaxy already have the speed control as Incinero with the Mega Horn onto Delphox, and it is a one hit wonder because Delphox was back at full strength. They got the critical hit as well, and now out comes Weirdy. Incinero trying to say it's the best fire type on the field, and now Miascarada coming out for the Spike Myth Rockets. Two cats on the field, but that two Intimidators on the field as well, with Weirdy lowering the attack stat of the Rockets. But the fire spin from Exeggutor, very smart play to get that on the Miascarada before it changes its type with that Protean ability being trapped in that fiery vortex. It's going to go for the triple kick, so it's going to become a fighting type, which is a really strange play because now it is no longer immune to psychic type moves. It's actually weak to psychic type moves, which is great for the Anastar Galaxy. I wonder if they're going to try and capitalize on that here. 
And we did with the Accelerox, super effective hit there onto Incinero, who is going to respond with the speed swap. Very smart play there, as it is the slowest on the field, switching its speed with a weird but executor is still the quickest on the field as that fiery vortex is doing damage to miascarada executor needs to go for something here going with the dire claw on to incineroar doesn't do a great deal of damage but it has left it with that crucial status condition that poison is going to be doing passive damage miascarada though with the earthquake this is going to hit everybody in the field it's actually super effective on its own teammate put in incineroar in knockout range it's not very effective on executor and the bitter malice follow up from weird, he tries to take out Incineroar, but it's able to hold on from that not very effective move. It has its attack stat lowered, and it is going to go for the charm on to Weirdy, which isn't going to do any damage, but it's going to greatly lower that attack stat. However, that poisoning that was set up by Exeggutor is going to take Incineroar out of this matchup. The two cats on the field clearly not getting along right now. That is not good for the dark types to start off their season. As yet again, the Anastar Galaxy are back in the lead, and out comes Mabostia for the Spike Mets Rockets returning to this side for its second season as the scratch on a Miascarada. It's able to hold on there from Exeggutor. Miascarada is going to go with the Strength Sap. Very crucial play here. It is going to lower that physical attack of Exeggutor, but more importantly, I think, it is going to restore the health, much needed health, of Miascarada to try and keep it in this match. As the crunch from Mabostiff, super effective there on Exeggutor. It gets the elimination, leveling the playing field. The Spike Mets Rockets are not letting the Anastar Galaxy get away here, but the Luster Perch from Weirdy. This is going to be super effective on the fighting type Miascarada. Miascarada is eliminated, putting the Anastar Galaxy back in front and now out comes Mabostiff for the Spike Mouth Rockets there's two Mabostiffs on the side of the Dark Types Furograph comes out for the NSR Galaxy the first Mabostiff with the Brutal Swing hits everybody on the field not very effective on its fellow Mabostiff try not to get confused here but it's super effective on the Psychic Types taking Weird Ear out immediately leveling the playing field the second Mabostiff is going to go for the Heat Crash they are on the offensive are these Angry Puppers getting that critical hit there on Furograph almost puts it in knockout, knockout range but the Fire Pledge from Fergraf onto the first Mabostiff, who is revealed to be a Zoroark in its illusion. Those two angry puppers aren't actually two angry puppers, only one, but now out comes Iron Valiant for the Anastar Galaxy, the Terrastal Drafty. Last Pokemon coming out for this side, taking on that psychic type. Those massive offensive stats, both in its attack and its special attack. 130, 120 respectively. And it has the speed advantage and immediately goes with the Calm Mind. So it's actually going to boost that special attack as well as boost its special defense. You do not want to take a strike from Iron Valiant. Zoroark is going to go for the Doom Desire. Choosing Doom as its destiny for the Anastar Galaxy. But Mbostiff is going to follow it up with the Spirit Shackle. This will be super effective on Iron Valiant, but it goes for Furgraph, who has that part normal typing. So it's immune. And a false swipe from Furgraph, which is fantastic because that is a shiny Mbostiff. The fake tears here from Iron Valiant. Going to lower that special defense a great deal of Mbostiff. Zara going for the Horn Drill. And it goes for Iron Valiant as well, knowing how crucial it is. But Iron Valiant avoids it. Mbostiff with the Arm Thrust. Going for Furograph here. Looks like it might only need three of this multi hit move on Furograph to get the job done. No, it holds on. It needs the fourth connection. It's going to get it though. This puts the Spike Mouth Rockets in front. Iron Valiant is all by itself here. And you know the Spike Mouth Rockets do not want to lose the first game of this season. To a side, they have the type advantage over, but we get the splash from Iron Valiant. Nothing's going to happen. That could be a big error on the side of the Terrestrial Draft Day. Zoroark with the disarming voice here. Doesn't do a great deal of damage to Iron Valiant. Mabostiff's gonna follow up with the Clanging Scales, which normally wouldn't affect Iron Valiant, but it actually gets a really good connection here. Mabostiff does lower its defense to do so, but Iron Valiant's gonna respond with the Sacred Sword, swiping with that blade to eliminate Zoroark with that super effective move, leveling the playing field. Mabostiff goes with the Eerie Spell. This won't be very effective on the Terrestrial Draft Day. This allows Iron Valiant to try and capitalize, it does have its PP lowered by three. It's going to set up for a sky attack, so it's going to become cloaked in that harsh light. You see those wings fly up high into the sky. This is an opportunity for my boss. If it's going to go with the disabled. This is crucial because it will cause Iron Valiant to struggle, but it should be able to finish off that sky attack first. Mabostiff needs to hold on that sky attack being completed and Mabostiff is eliminated. The Anastar Galaxy have defeated the Spike Mouth Rockets for the second season in a row. Unbelievable. This is not how the shiny side, the champions expected to start their season and they're going to want to look to re-establish themselves next round when they go up against the Ula Ula Macros. That'll be a huge clash. Whereas 
for the Psychic types next round, they will be going up against the Vilestone Breakers. But until then, Nidorino is Nidorino. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on field. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe. But more importantly, always remember, you are awesome. And I'll see you when you see me.